Hey, Bleed Big Blue, Tim from the podcast. Just wanted to talk to you guys. I know I'm coming to you guys after another loss, and uh, it's not a loss I really expected because I really do think we're better than that Seattle team, but we just don't have the offensive weapons right now to have any con- consistency on offense. And our defense can only be on the field so long. But I do see some positives, and I think we have stuff to build on going into the future. Because as much as we expected a lot from this team, this team is pretty young. So that's at least one thing we can hang our hat on, guys. We can still get better. And I honestly, there's nowhere to go but up at this point. But it's that time of the week. It's time for my lists. First on a list of glory. Landon Collins. You just made the list. I'm sure he's number one on you guys' list as well. Uh, he's becoming one of my favorite Giants. He's just fun to watch. I mean, that, that body slam on the goal line was awesome. Especially coming from getting cut and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, picking that guy up and just slamming him. I'm surprised the guy hang out, hung on to the ball. But, you know, he also had the fumble recovery. He should have had an interception. Uh, the only reason <laughs> Paul Richardson even got it, even caught that ball, and that ball didn't hit the ground, is because it was on Landon Collins' chest. And that's why I don't understand how that's a touchdown. But whatever, uh, they gave it to him. Nothing we can do about it now. But Landon Collins, keep doing what you're doing. Keep making plays. You're a leader on this team, and just keep pushing us forward. So props to you, Landon Collins, for making the list of glory. Number two on my list of glory is I think he's going to end up being a mainstay on this list. It's uh, number two is Evan Ingram. You just made the Evan, list. Uh, you are pretty much our whole passing attack, which is pretty good. And you know what it reminds me of is when we had Odell Beckham Jr., in his first year, when Victor Cruz got hurt and really Odell was our only consistent weapon, that's what it's looking like uh, with you. You're our only weapon. You're a mismatch. I cannot wait till everybody's healthy and you actually, you know, aren't getting the focus of the defense on you because you're a mismatch and you you're you're gonna definitely be. Uh, advantage for us going into the future but you had another great game you had your third touchdown catch good job keep doing what you're doing because honestly you're a whole offense so (laughs) you know what props to you Evan Ingram for making a list of glory number three on my list now I could have picked a bunch of people but this guy just every time I was watching plays he was he was in on the play. Uh, number three on my list is Devin Kennard. You just made the list. He played a great game. Uh, every time that we needed a key tackle, it seemed like you were there. You were pressuring uh, Russell Wilson all uh, all night, and that was that was good. I I, I loved the what you were doing out there. I know you're in a contract year, Devin, and honestly, I don't know if you're going to be back with the Giants, but you're playing well right now, and just keep doing what you're doing. You know, we we need that linebacker help. And honestly, you helped on the goal line stand as well, which the goal line stand, guys, was a, amazing. The he- to hold Seattle out of the end zone for that many plays, that was just impressive, and that's old school Giants football. It, that got me excited, of course. You know, it let, it let me down at the end of the day. But I digress. I just want to say props to you, Devin Kennard, for making the list of glory. Now, these, this guy did not make the list of glory, but I, I do want to give him a little props. Um, little, let's say, honorable mention. I'm going to have to say uh, Avery Moss. You didn't make the list of glory. I could see that you could make it in the future. You were making plays. Once Kerry Wynn got hurt, you were in on there. You you were the reason for the fumble. You you know you forced it so Landon Collins could pick it up. You 
you had some speed, you were getting around the corner, making plays. Honestly, if Russell wasn't wasn't so damn mobile, you probably would have had a sack. But keep doing what you're doing. I, I like that uh, we have a defensive end for the future that's coming around. Now, after a loss, <laughs> you know, uh, it's pretty easy to make the list of shame. And that's... I could have put a whole lot of people on this list, and I just... I picked three. But number one on my list... Uh, there's no particular person, but I'm just giving it... Special teams. Shame. Uh, we had a block punt. Shame. We had a Shame. missed field goal. I mean, it was just it didn't look good. I can't stand when we're doing all this. Brad Wings, you know, lost his confidence. Uh, Roja, Rosas, or whatever the hell your name is. Um, you better start kicking field goals, because or you're not gonna be on this team next year. You do got a good leg, and I know you barely missed it, but you missed it. And we, we that was a game-tying field goal, and it seemed as, as soon as you missed that, this team let down. So we need all three facets of this team to play perfect for us to win, and you guys didn't. So shame on you, special teams. You made the list of shame. Number two on my list... Dominique Rogers Cromartie. Shame. Shame. You just came off suspension. Shame. And I would think you would give this team a boost. I would feel feel like you were motivated to make plays. Now I understand your snap count was down because honestly, uh, obviously the team's still pissed at you for doing what you had to do. But you know, when you're in there, you're seriously one of the most athletic corners in the league. And you were getting toasted. Uh, Paul Richardson caught a pass on you and juked you and pretty much put you on the floor. And then, what, a few plays later, Doug Baldwin just burns you and gets in the end zone. You know, that, that turned the game around. That was their first touchdown. They gave them confidence to keep moving forward. You should have been there to make a play. I expect more out of you. Especially after the, you know, after the suspension, you need to uh, do better. Even though it's more than likely this is the, your last year as a giant, but I expect more. You made the list of shame. Number three on my list, Bobby Hart. Shame. Now, shame. from you guys listening shame. to the videos and listening to the podcasts, I've been a backer of Bobby Hart. I Love the way he worked, but I can't do it anymore. Bobby Hart, you're you hurt our team. Every time you're in on the offensive line, all of a sudden the offensive line gets way worse. Now I know you're a huge drop off from Justin Pugh, but whatever reason, once you're in there, we can't do anything. This team just feels like it's a a notch below than what it what it is. So. Bobby Hart, you need to play better, but honestly, I don't see you on this team come next year. Honestly, I wouldn't even care if they cut you now. So, shame on you, Bobby Hart. You made the list of shame. Now, (laughs) these guys didn't make the list of shame, but I want to give them a little dishonorable mention. I want to say Steve Spagnola. Now, I know the defense played great, and I'm not saying it's your guys' fault we lost because, honestly, you were on the field way too damn long. But why were you playing so much damn zone? You know Russell Wilson, you know, gets out of the pocket, you know, makes plays and all that. But if there were actually guys playing man, that's why he was getting open receivers because he'd make a play, people would move in the zone and get open. It's unacceptable. So, Spagnola, let's play a little more man. Maybe not, you know, blitz everybody when it's, what, third and 20 or whatever it was. 
and then you see Dominique Roger Camardi get burned over the middle because he has no safety help on top of it. Eh. Spagnola, I'm a fan, but you didn't have your greatest game. Another person that's on dishonorable mention is I'm gonna have to say Eli Apple. Well, dude, stop talking shit. I'm I'm tired of uh, you getting all pumped up over like nothing plays. Now I I think you're good. I really think uh, you can p- take the next step. But last year you you just made plays. You didn't do all this you know waving the finger and all that garbage. You know what? Just make plays and do what you have to do. You know what? Especially when you got lucky. When Jimmy Graham, you know, got a ball thrown in his chest and you fell on the ground. But Eli Apple just shut up and play. Just wanted to put that out there. Now, as usual, guys, I want to hear your guys' lists. I know we're not happy after another loss, but at least we have a bye week and we can take a little break from the Giants. Because it's going to be a tough season, guys. But uh, I'm going to keep watching. Because I still bleed big blue, always.